the aquarium for a little over eight years and I oversee our volunteers that engage with guests on the floor and teach people about the galleries and the animals that we have here. And then I also oversee our teen programs in which we bring in teens from our community and even all over the state of South Carolina to learn about um, conservation and all the work that we do here and how they can be a part of it. One of the things that we really prioritize at the aquarium is having a personalized experience. You know, people come in here and we want to make sure that they know that we care that they're here and that they're walking into our building really helps us take care of the animals. As a nonprofit, a lot of the money that comes through admissions goes right back into caring for the very animals that they're looking at today. So we want to make sure that people understand that it's important that they're here, we appreciate that they're here, and we want to make sure they have fun and they learn something um, and maybe help them leave here with an enhanced sense of respect for the animals that live in the environment that we share with them. Something that makes the aquarium really special is that we really highlight the native species of South Carolina. So our aquarium is set up to mimic the, as if you're taking a trip from the mountains all the way to the sea. There's so many unique and special habitats in the state of South Carolina, and you kind of get to see a little bit of all of that, how, how they're all related. So we're bringing animals from their own backyard or maybe from the ocean right here for them to look at up close. I think one of the most impactful exhibits is our sea turtle recovery exhibit. I've been at the South Carolina Aquarium for about a year and a half now, but I've been working with sea turtles all over the Southeast for about five years. The Sea Turtle Care Center started back in 2000 with a kiddie pool in the basement of the facility. And over the years, that need for sea turtle rehab kind of grew and grew, and the aquarium was fortunate enough to be able to retrofit our basement to be a fully functioning sea turtle hospital to intake those patients from the entire state of South Carolina because we are the only facility. So anywhere from as far north as Myrtle Beach to as far south as Hilton Head, anywhere in between those turtle patients will come in and receive that rehabilitation or that care that they need so that they can live a healthy life back out in the wild and continue to contribute to their populations. We are partnered with the Department of Natural Resources and anybody could see a sick or injured sea turtle and call the Department of Natural Resources. We really say that the public are the first responders. So they will call the Department of Natural Resources and then they will deploy either their staff members or their group of volunteers who are permitted to work with these species. They will go pick up those animals, then they will drive them here to us and then we kind of take it from there with that intake. Sea turtles in general are something that are referred to as an umbrella species because they are so resilient within their environment, they are a good indicator for what's actually happening in that environment. So if there's some sort of pollution that's happening and you see that the sea turtles are struggling, you know that something is wrong in that area. In the state of South Carolina, we have four native species of sea turtles. The leatherback sea turtle, the loggerhead, which is actually our state reptile, green sea turtles, and Kemp's Ridley sea turtles. And most often we see the three smaller ones, the loggerheads, the greens, and the Kemp's Ridley sea turtles in the aquarium. Uh, those are the ones that are closer to shore and we see most frequently. And we have released 359 sea turtles since we have opened our doors to sea turtle rehab. love my job. This is a passion that I've had ever since I was about six years old and it's incredible to see these turtles come in so sick and so injured as an endangered species in particular to rehabilitate them and watch them grow and then to be able to release them. It's a pretty emotional process to be able to see how far they can come and what a difference that my team has made for that animal's life to know that their quality of life has been so much improved since they've come into the hospital. You know, ever since I've come to the aquarium, I feel like this is a place where I can make a difference, you know, and make the world a little bit of a better place. And that might sound a little corny, but I really feel that way because of the way that we move forward with our conservation efforts and by teaching people and making it accessible to people. What we want is to create stewards for the environment. And so it's one thing to come in and look at us doing it. It's another thing to empower people to do it themselves. Um, and that's where we're gonna see a really big difference and a really big impact in a positive direction in the environment. Sometimes conservation can seem a little overwhelming if we can kind of take that spin away from it and say, 
these are the issues, but guess what? There's a lot of hope and there's a lot of opportunities for us to make it better. And it doesn't have to be on a huge grand scale. It can be on a small scale in our everyday lives. I feel so privileged to get to be one of the people that helps teach people that and show us that we can make a difference in a positive way and we can make the world a better place.